Yo, welcome back, and today I am joined by the one, the only, Royalty, and today we're going to be checking out uh, 006 for Misfits. We're going to be giving our predictions, and yeah, hello, Royalty, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, what's up, y'all? You already know me, I'm the GOAT, Royalty Boxing, obviously. You know, I got a fight coming up, May 6th, going to beat up some dude named Ivan, Um but I'm excited to get into these Misfits predictions. I think this card is massively underrated. Very underrated. I, I completely agree with you. I think people are sleeping on this a lot. And yeah, ha uh, you have a fight on May 6th. Uh, honestly, if you want to talk about it at the end of this video, I'm completely down. But I think first we should get into our predictions. So the first fight is, I think his name's Yuddy and Uncle Pizza. Um, how do you th how do you see that fight going? Cause me personally, I haven't heard of either of these two. Uh, no no disrespect or anything, but yeah, how do you see this fight going, man? I don't know either of them either, but Uncle Pizza is, is coming in as a late replacement. There's been um a history in influencer boxing with late replacements actually coming out to win the fight. So I'm gonna say that that happens again here, and Uncle Pizza pulls off the upset. Uh, I'm assuming he's um, the underdog because, you know, like, he came out of nowhere. Like, no one really knew who he was. I, me personally, since I uh, I made my predictions before, like, Uncle Pizza actually, like, came out or whatever. So, right now, I have Yuddy winning. I, ha by the way, I don't know, like, either. But, also, do you want to give our, like, what round do you think they're going to lose in and how they're going to lose in shit? Or do you just want to say who wins? See, I think this is going to be an amazing underdog story. It's going to be, the, as he's going to shock the world. Uncle Pizza knocks him out in the fourth round. Bro, he's not winning anymore, bro. Are you shocking the world? He's shocking the world, bro. He's going to be shocking the world. Bro, I, me personally, I want Uncle Pizza to win just because, like, well, just because of his name, honestly. <laughs> yeah, for real. But um, I have him winning. Uh, first round KO, <laughs> my boy Yuddy. Even though I have no clue who he is, but you know, let's go with Yuddy. You better die for our man, okay? I got Uncle <laughs> Pizza, got Yuddy. <laughs> we don't know who they are, but we we riding for him. Hell yeah, bro! Hell yeah. Uh, I think next next is the Kimbo Slice Junior uh versus OJ. OJ Ro Rose or Rose? I think it's uh, Rose. Yeah, I think it is too. This fight is very hard for me to predict because I love OJ Rose's uh, come up story. He came up from Twitter Spaces, small creator guy. Um, he really brings hope for us smaller guys in the scene. But Kimbo Slice is a legend, and I want to see that carry on with the son. But this, I just, I think Kimbo Slice is gonna pull this one out. I really do. So you think, and I think he's gonna win by split decision. You think? What you think? Uh, Kimbo Slice is gonna win. Yeah, I think he's gonna take it by split decision. Okay, okay, okay. Cause me, I have Kimbo Slice also winning. I think he's gonna win a unanimous decision. I don't think it's gonna be split decision. If it is, then fair play to you for that um, prediction. But I think it's gonna be unanimous. Uh, we'll see. I, I have seen them a lot on Twitter. I'm just glad we're switching, so. it, up. We're switching oh. it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Chase, oh, Chase is next. All right. Uh, we obviously seen him with Bruckner, uh, you know, Denver League. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. So well. Uh, he's fighting Stevie Knight. Do you know who Stevie Knight is? Yes, I do. Uh, he make he reacts to like hip hop uh, rappers and the, you know what I mean. He's a reaction channel, yeah, he's, and yeah, reaction I used channel. to watch him. I used to watch him all the time. And to be honest, I I, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna knock his. I think he's gonna knock Chase out in the in the third round. Um, because he's a big dude. Uh, you could he has he's a big dude. I feel like he's gonna hit hard. Um, also. I, I wouldn't mind seeing Chase win because that would be a cool like comeback story. Yeah. After loss against uh, Josh Bruckner, because that was embarrassing. But if he can come back and win when he's a massive underdog, that'd be a dope story for Misfits. Yeah, I I really agree. I think Chase. I think Chase is gonna take this one. 
Uh, I've seen oh, the work he's been putting in in the gym, and he actually looks like he knows. He's got the fundamentals down. I feel like he's got the fundamentals down. I think he's going to defeat um Stevie Knight in the second round. I think he's going to KO him. I I genuinely I respect that. I I genuinely think that I'm. Does Stevie Knight have footage out? No, I don't think so. Okay, I think yeah, so. I think Chase is gonna um defeat him in the second round via KO, and then next. Honestly, got, what you say? I wouldn't mind seeing my I wouldn't mind seeing my prediction be wrong. So yeah, either way, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, next is the boy Waleed Sharks versus a Pap or a Pop. Waleed's gonna smoke him. Yeah, <laughs> I mean simpler. Yeah, this prediction isn't gonna take too long. I mean, we all know what Waleed <laughs> has to offer. I mean, Waleed's a fucking monster. His recent padded footage, bro. Oh my god, he looked really good. I think he's gonna put him out in the second round. Second round? You think yeah. he's gonna feel him out in the first? Yeah, I think he's gonna feel him out in the yeah. first. Maybe play with him a bit and then put him out in the second. Yeah, that's respectful. I feel you. I feel you. I I think he's gonna put him out in the first. Just because I Very think he's going to make a statement. Uh, yeah. And also, he's hungry. You know, he got kind of... Was it oh uh, five he was going to fight on? And then his opponent pulled out, which was dumb. I think he's hungry. And he's yeah, angry. He wants I, to get back in the ring. So. I agree with that. People are ducking him. And he really wants that rematch with Dean. So, he's, he's, I think he's really hungry as well. So, uh, yeah, I can see that. A little, a little detour, real quick. Do you think that Waleed was cheated out, or do you think it was fair? And do you think that he'd win in the rematch? I think it was fair simply because he turned his back to the, uh, to the ref, which you can't do. Like yeah. you can't turn your back when he's trying to make sure you're okay. And for someone that has experience, it's really weird that he did that. Um, so I think he was actually pretty hurt. So I think it was fair, but I think Waleed um, beats him in the rematch um, by decision. I think the fight's going to be a bit closer than it was last time, though. Yeah, bit that, more competitive. That's ve- yeah, that's very respectable. Do you think NNA pulled out because of the visa thing, or do you think he was genuinely scared? He's scared. He's scared. He, why would he take that fight? Let's be real. He's scared. I think he's going to duck Fox, too. I don't think he really wants to fight. Are you, call- <laughs> to be are you calling him out right now, bro? I... I'll whoop his ass on the main stage if he wants. I mean, did he want, if he wants to get embarrassed. <laughs> Bro, I, I, I don't know about you. I want to see that fight very fucking bad. You and you were sending it. That would be <laughs> fucking awesome, bro. Uh, uh, oh, 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 it's not many kinds of fangs. I think she got a new opponent, too. Minx pulled out. Uh, yeah, Vampira. She's a music star. Me, a music star, really? Yeah. Who do you think is gonna win that fight? Because I already know who's gonna win, in my opinion. But Banks. Yeah. Just because she seems like she's been hungry for a fight. She's been training pretty hard. Um, I think this is her second opponent to pull out. So yeah, she's hungry. Cause she doesn't have to fight, but she still does. I so. I yeah, I completely agree with that. I think Fangs will defeat Vampira versus uh via first round first round TKO. Yeah, I, me too. I, just, I see that a lot with. Uh, I'm not trying to like be mean or anything. I see that a lot with the um, women fights. I see because a lot of them like to brawl, and I think that they're gonna brawl it on the first round, and it will be a stoppage. Um, and there's a lot of women there that seems like they're there more for the money than actually box. And yeah, I think I that's what Vampira is there for exactly, is for the money. Exactly. I'm not trying to be like mean or anything, but I feel like that's genuinely like what they're doing. But then you have people on creator class who are there, like who are like putting in work and showing their skill. Like I don't know if you've seen the woman on creator class too. Um, oh, I did. Yeah. Um, those women won laps on most misfits so women, in my opinion. Dude. Especially no. that L- K- Kara girl, Care girl. I've been show uh, like Care girl. I've kept, oh, you know, I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. She is good. I think she gets out of to a fight if that beats her. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. Also, uh, you mentioned a previous pull-up for Fangs, which was Barbie, that Barbie chick. Yeah. And in my opinion, I think Fangs uh, would have lost that fight. Me too. I, I think she would have lost that fight. She comes from, like a, I think, a fighting background of like family, and then she looked really dumb past. 
I think Meeks beats her too. You think so? I, I know you think so. I'm biased. That's my celebrity crush, so but I'm I'm just biased. I'm a, I'm gonna add her in the description, bro. I got you. <laughs> Bad, holy. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right. So you know what this prediction then? You got your prediction? Yeah. Alright, better. Yeah. Minicon versus Jake the Viking. All I know from this one is Jake is from Mr. Beast's well he was. He he isn't anymore. That's really all I know of him. Me too. I used to watch uh, uh, more Mr. Beast when Viking was on it. To be honest, he was very entertaining. So I think he's going to be uh, bring a lot of entertainment aspect to this, but not much, too much of boxing because he's new and Minicon has some experience. So I think he's kind of going to run laps around him. Maybe not run laps, but like controllably win the fight like you know he's winning the fight you know what i mean and i think he puts him out in the second or third just because he's a bigger guy i don't think yeah. he takes him out i also think minicon is gonna win against jake because minicon just has he has that experience and he's i think he's been putting in that work uh jake also has but minicon once again he's been training way longer than jake i think he's yeah i'm sure jake's been the most yeah. Yeah, I never said he isn't putting in the work, but I just feel like he is he he can't catch up in that amount amount that amount of time to someone that has as much experience as Minicon does. So Yeah, yeah, I one hundred percent I completely agree with that. I think he's gonna win via second round TKO. I Yeah, I can, yeah. I'll, is he it might honestly go a decision I don't know. I don't see Minicon Okay, I don't see Minicon sleeping him, but I could see him getting the TKO, yeah, and finishing him. But okay, yeah. I, I was I was debating whether or not it was a good prediction, but I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it, and we'll see what happens. Uh, next, the fight that I want to see, well, the second fight I want to see the most, um, under the main card would be Paul Bamba versus Chris Avila. Paul Bamba is gonna hook Chris. Put my words on it now. I may have got a hundred buck bet with some random on Twitter, and I'm about to cash in because he's going to humiliate Chris. <laughs> he's going to expose him. Yeah. I mean, I the only I only heard of... Didn't he fight Dr. Mike? Was that the same guy? Yeah. He destroyed Dr. Mike, but yeah. he could anyway. And Paul Bamba, I think he was cheated out of a fight with Tommy Fury, so it's kind of it's cool to see both of them fight because I've heard of them. I have I don't think I've seen Chris fight. I've, I've I know he fought Doctor Mike, and I'm he... seen... you know Raiden? not that good. He's not that good. Okay, he's okay, not okay. that. Good. I also think Paul Bamba is gonna win. I think it's gonna be a third round TKO. Uh, from... Honestly, I think it's gonna be. I think Paul's gonna take all four rounds because they're fighting four, right? I, I think so. I, I wish it was longer, though. I think me too. They should be, be uh, fighting six, in my opinion. But I think he's going to dominate all four rounds and beat him by a uh, unanimous decision. And he's going to embarrass him. I think he drops him maybe once or twice, but I don't think he gets the knockout. That, that's a very fair prediction. And yeah, I, I agree with you. I think all undercard fights should be six rounds. And I feel like the main event should be eight. I think agree. They need sick. to start stepping up the rounds. Yeah, yeah. And then, honestly... Prelims should be four. Huh? Prelims should be four. Dude, I was, I was, that's what I was going to say. I was, I was going to say that. Prelims, I feel like, should be four. I think that would be sick. Um, it makes a lot more sense. It, it would make it a ton of more sense. Um, And then, main event. We got Lee Van Bell versus JMX. I have my predictions. I think they're going six. I, am I, I'm, I don't know I if I'm wrong. I hope they're going that. six. I think they're going six, and I think um, Le'Veon Bell sparks him out with the same strike he did to uh, Adrian Peterson in the fourth. All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't. That strike was nasty. Oh, he, it, it, that his strike was so it hard. Was, yeah, it was. I think he's gonna knock JMX out with the same thing because JMX doesn't have much of a chin, does he? He got dropped by a good team. <laughs> Dude, it was that, just a knockdown. That was a bad <laughs> knockdown too, bro. Levy, uh, Le'Veon Bell is a. Is kind of good, man. Like he's pretty good, and I think he could be a a monster in the scene. And I think he's gonna give a Logan because KSI hinted that maybe the winner of this fight's Logan. I think he gives Logan a hell of a fight. Yeah, I was just thinking that I I've been I've seen a lot of people say you know 
uh, Logan should get the winner of this, and I feel like oh, it'll be such a cool uh, fight. It, like any of these guys, Logan versus Le'Veon or um, Logan versus JMX. But I feel like Le'Veon takes it. I think it's a UD. I don't. I think if JMX learns from his mistakes, I don't think he'll get knocked out. Um, I think it might be a UD. I think Le'Veon takes it though. Mock we can see that. Yeah, I yeah. can see that. But the thing is, like when I see JMX on the pads, he just looks kind of awkward to me. Like he, I'm not saying it looks bad. It's not bad at all. It just seems a little awkward. His style is you're awkward. Calling out, you're calling out JMX too, bro. What the hell is going on, <laughs> bro? I would smoke everyone. No, but I think a lot of people put him on like the top ten. I've been seeing that, and I'm like, no, I think he's like top fifteen. He's just a little awkward, you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's been times true. like against Gitty where he got off balanced, and if he if that if he doesn't fix that, he's gonna have some trouble with Le'Veon. Yeah. I I I 100% agree with you. Um, yeah, Le'Veon takes it, and it would be so cool to see Logan versus Le'Veon because Logan's been out of the ring since Floyd. Yeah, he has. He hasn't fought since. Yeah, and he was gonna fight Dylan Dennis until he hurt his um, until he pulled his ham hamstring. I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But um, a cool backstory with him and Le'Veon is him and uh, Antonio Brown had beef, and him and Le'Veon Bell both played on the Pittsburgh Steelers together. Really? And, yeah, so it's kind of like taking out his friend. So, do all do that. Actually, I think yeah. they beefed in Pittsburgh, so I don't think they are friends at all. But still, bro, that diss track Logan dropped on AT, bro, that was actually pretty fucking. It was no, actually a pretty a good. AB. Yeah, on AB, that was actually pretty good. I remember when that first drop. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I can't. I can't lie either. That was pretty solid. I think. I think that's all the predictions. Yeah, I think we got through the Dude. whole card, and I'm very excited for it. And if I'm being honest, I think this card may have the least like name value, but it has the best group of fights in the card. Like, honestly, Paul Bomba, he's a fucking boxer. Chris Avila is a boxer as well. Like, they, those guys can box. OJ Rosen, Kimball, Slice Jr. Those guys can box. Fucking. Um, obviously the Wally fight, can, they can box. Uncle Pizza apparently works at the same gym as Anthony Taylor and a few other guys, which they work in that. a high-level gym. They, it's a pretty high-level gym, so I'm sure he can box. So I, I'm very excited for this card. This is going to be very more of like a boxing purist will enjoy this card. Guys, definitely check out Royalty's boxing event. He's going to be going up against Ivan Mills on May 6th in Williamantic. Connecticut, definitely wish him luck and tell me who you guys think is going to win in that fight. Do you have a final message for Ivan? Uh, you better be training because I know you're not training as hard as me. And then uh, when I hit you that one first time with that right hand, you better not get scared and start running. Oh, hell yeah, bro. I'm, I'm so hyped for that fight. I feel like it's going to be fireworks. And yeah, so that was our predictions for Misfits 006. Definitely comment down below who you guys think or just give me your predictions of the fight in general uh who do you think will be fight of the night and who do you th who is just the most important fight you want to see so uh yeah definitely like and subscribe as well thank you for watching